So I don't know if this happens to you guys, but my wife asked me to prepare dinner. I know that happens to many of you, but um, she wanted me to grill a few tri-tip. So I'm just not able to use a barbecue right now. It could be whether it's dirty, I need to clean it, or I ran out of gas, or I don't know. Someone's in the backyard, so I can't uh, barbecue. So I'm gonna put it in the oven instead, and uh, I'm kind of gonna do the same thing that you do on the grill. So when it's on high, it just does the outside, which does a really nice caramelization and adds some crispiness and gives it some flavor, some like charred flavor, which is delicious, but it doesn't cook the inside. So that's why you put it on low flame for the inside. So I'm gonna do the same thing in the oven. I'm gonna put it on 500 for five minutes on each side, and then I'm gonna lower it to probably 300, 350 for another like 20 minutes. So let's see how that turns out. So here are the tri-tip, the four tri-tip. They're really small, I know. We keep the really small ones. And um, so I'm just gonna put some olive oil and Exciting, we have our secret rub that we are working on soon to be sold at Bacar Meats. Part of us trying out this, this rub to test it is, is really seeing how it works on the, on the meat. Obviously, a lot of R&D going on here. So it's not an exact science, but um, I'll do it for around five or 10 minutes. I'm just gonna keep an eye on it to see um, until it gets like crispy and crunchy. Don't let it burn. See if it gets a really nice crust, then you're gonna flip it over. So let me show you what it looks like after 10 minutes. Let's see, not bad. I think I might do a little bit longer. So I put it in the oven at 500 for, I think it's gonna be 15 minutes. We'll get nice crust. Let's take a look at it now. That's a, that's a nice crust, so I'm going to turn it over for another 10, 15 minutes. So that's pretty good now. I'm gonna turn it down to 300. To cook for maybe 20 minutes. I'll keep you posted. So here it is. Nice crust on the outside. Nice caramelization. I'm gonna let it rest for five, to 10 minutes, just lightly tent it with some foil, and then we're gonna slice it up. Okay, so here's the tri-tip. You guys remember how to cut tri-tips, right? You see, here's the, the grain. Let's do that again. See the grain? So we wanna cut against the grain. So I'm gonna do one cut, like right in the middle there. And then, now I'm gonna cut See, did that. Now I'm gonna cut it against the grain because the grain's gone this way. See, you can actually see the grain right here. So that's what we did. So now we're gonna cut against the grain. Some people like well done, so they can have the edges. Some people like, oh, look how nice and crunchy. Delicious. Let's okay. Rub is really good, a little bit spicy, a little bit sweet. Nice, delicious. Try it out, let me know how it turns out. See you later.